Hello. Hey, Elijah, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Uh, thought I had you on my headphones, but I don't. Let me turn them off. Use these ones. I'm, I'm pretty good too. I had a, a few things to do this morning. Thanks for being flexible five minutes here. I had to clean up some traces in the kitchen and that sometimes takes longer, I think. You're in Vancouver, eh? Yeah. Nice. I'm moving back uh, to the island on July 1st. Oh, really? Yeah, I've been living there for the last uh, six to eight years. And um, now the last two years of that, I've been on and off in San Francisco. And so um, I'm a German citizen and a Canadian resident, like I have an ID card. And so I'm not really... Um, can't really stay here much longer since in, in the state since I've stayed here throughout the entire lockdown. And so I decided, talked with my girlfriend for a long time, we, we decided to just move, move back. And um, so July 1st is, is uh, the time to come back to the island. We got a nice place in Oak Bay and just, you know, grow our own food, reconnect with my friends and community up there, both in Vancouver and in, in Victoria. I'm really looking forward. Awesome. Were you in that... Um in England where they had 144 people together? In Barcelona. It was in Barcelona? The, the Holy Spirit Symposium? Yeah. With Le Ciel? Yeah. They, yeah. they are there. Yeah, uh, I, I was. Uh, was there the first one? Were you? No, I was, I'm was. i just connecting into them because they're they're looking perhaps at using the tools I got. To, to Beautiful. Go Beautiful. To I want to learn all about your tools. Um, yeah, so I was um, made aware of Le Ciel a few years ago. I interviewed them uh, twice, actually. Uh, right before they uh, launched their movie, The Twelve, which I hope you've seen. If not, I highly recommend you watch it. Uh, the Twelve, it's a documentary. It's, it's free online. It's, it's about, um, yeah, basically, the easiest way to describe it is they were initiated in a, in a lineage of plant medicine in Gabon in Africa and were a group of nine to carry out a collective purpose. And they basically took this cosmic information and, and brought it down in, into earth in that sense. And so they, they were told to find 12 medicine elders, really just elders of, of specific spiritual qualities that are embodied in human form. There were neither like famous shamans or anything and from all kinds of different places. And they tracked them through following the dream world and their intuition. They found them, they brought them together and they had them um, meditate in the United Nations in New York uh, together. And it wasn't initiated or invited by the United Nations, it just happened because that's, that's one of the strong energy vortices on the planet to <laughs> create a direct pathway between um, kind of heaven and earth in that sense. And so it happens to be that the United Nations has their headquarters on there. Uh, very, very interesting because that was one of those ripple effects that uh, allowed a lot of this to kind of, you know, ripple out more and more into our physical reality. So the way I would describe it without needing to make it the truth, but is is like there's, there's a cosmological clock to what we're experiencing right now from lifting the veil of deception to going forward into the like new earth kind of um, embodiment and I think most of us have had different stages of waking up over the last well, eight years for sure since 2012 and, and then before that in different ways we got either brought in initiated or you know ha had gifts since birth etc and so um it's been a long time coming man it's been a long time coming and there's still a lot of crap on this earth that needs to lift first so we can we can like fully um, hospice and uh, and heal the the the, the, be, the deep deep wounds of the past, which obviously are like to do with uh, racial reconciliation and like reconciliation at large about death and, and rituals around death. And I just assume just by this topic coming up that 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 you're somewhat on on a similar page and and have your own uh, um, connection to all that and and. Uh, probably know, know a lot more than me. And, and so, um, yeah, it's an interesting time. It's an interesting time. I'll, I'll just, cause I'm talking, I'll share a little bit more. So, so I'm really focused on the path forward 
I don't really care too much about who's exactly right about which conspiracy about deleting the current cabal and shadow system. Um, that's an important work in many ways too, but that's, that's not where my work lies. It's more about going forward and, um, in the Le Ciel group, which, yeah, they definitely like consulted with spirit to bring together 144 matching puzzle pieces. Um, I was in the group of seeding global community. And so that's, um, that's just the, the embodiment I've been carrying since I'm on this planet. Like I, you know, I grew up in Germany, uh, moved to Paraguay in South America as a teenager and as 14, 15, um, for a year, um, connected with the South American roots and the like Spanish and Portuguese and the indigenous people there. And then came back to Germany and traveled the world and then moved to Canada and with the indigenous people there. And, and, and so everywhere I go, I've always felt like a bridge or an ambassador, um, right. To, equality for love for i think what now we're calling 5d which which i think is just unconditional love which is easy to say but not so much a practice that has been prevalent on this planet so we're all i think right now learning to accept which is the foundation of it right acceptance is a foundation of unconditional love we need to accept everything about our species which will still take quite a bit to to take for some people, right? Because we, we've been programmed for cognitive dissonance to not accept a lot of the evil. And then from acceptance, through trust, we can enter a true field of unconditional love. And so my journey right now, the last two years is, has been to interview over 200 people now. I'm, I'm gonna keep going till about 500, maybe more. Um, mapping them, tracking them, connecting them. But honestly, and this is kind of maybe an intro about myself, that's kind of where there's so much personal learning for me, self-development in that as well, right? Um, I live in the abundance of now, so everything always works out. Um, right now, I, I would really love to bring quite a bit more grounding into how things work out for me, so I can like, like leverage from like fuller pockets rather than just always hoping for it to be the next jump. Right. So I can connect both the people I've interviewed. And I think that's what you and I wanted to talk about as well. Um, as well as the people that are already listening, because there are a few thousand people, a few tens of thousands, depending on the episode, listening and viewing and watching. And, and then some from there, you know, and right now I, so the podcast, I finance it by, by just my own work and the work I do has all to do with, coaching and a lot of leadership coaching so the clients that find me are usually like really successful or like financially successful people that want more of that authentic deeply empowered deeply um courageous kind of connection to spirit and purpose and they usually have their own access already but they see that i'm just like doing that no matter what and so from there we start a relationship and then i guide them through um, different programs I've developed and a lot of breath work and meditation to like bring it from the head into the body because that's I think what what's 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 important me in a nutshell the last 15 years um I mean we we only have a half hour right is that oh, yeah we can take five five to ten minutes more but I do have I have to jump after that but yeah um just like I'm a sort of whole systems thinker, mm. right? And, and the basis for my work. Um, I'll just, pull up your graphics here, yeah. If you just take a look at this. Yeah, I it's saw it. Like a, a new yeah. clock for the new paradigm. Mm -hmm. And the outer ring is your lifetime, your year is your lunar. I mean, your year, this is your year, your lunar, your day. Then your seasons, your hours, minutes, present moment, and timelessness. Mm. So, so this is a new reference point to organize your mind. And then on there, I have an operating system that can run any business and an operating system that can run a larger shared knowledge community. It's basically a, a synchronization reference point for the new paradigm. And just hearing what I heard from you in terms of your, let's say, 28-day cycle, which is for four weeks, right? It's like... My thing is you can design your ideal job within this structure. And so, you know, I'm kind of like a coach for coaches because I got like tools and 
everything that you could take and custom design what you have a little bit more in order to bring your clients maybe a little bit farther. And so if you're, let's say, not getting whether you call cash flow or whatever that you want, uh, to me, you, you would design it within the ideal 28 day calendar first. And you may have one week where you go, I'm strictly business and I'm just charging money and that's all I'm doing this week. And then another week, you're just doing your full service to the community. Mm. And then another week is just personal space for you. And then another week is just you and your loved ones kind of thing. Like yeah, you don't amazing. have to spread it out over the whole thing, but it's looking at your ideal and then moving towards where you're at now into it. You may go, okay, Thursdays, you know, two to five every week, let's say, okay, I have a three hour session and I'm making, let's say $500 in that time. And then you just plan. That's what I'm doing. And if you don't have someone in that time, then you're just marketing for that time. So you're kind of like you're setting up your times within like either a personal space, a one-on-one -on -one space, a group space or community space. And then you're looking at which of these am I making money and which of these am I not? So once you've designed your 20 day cycle and you've, again, I've got all these maps that you can use to do so, you know, this is where I'm heading. Then you look at this is where I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have the vehicle. I mean, you, you you know you have all the pieces, but sometimes I have all the pieces. But there's definitely like the I spend too much time on like connection calls, which I know from a spirit perspective they are as important because sometimes things connect because of that. So I always want to make space for them. Um, I have a little bit of that right now. My Fridays are paid days until from like eight till one o'clock, and I really enjoy that. I'm like, hey, every Friday, like this is you know. Um, but I want to get like, even, I think, and thanks for, for, for just jumping into that. I think for me, what's clear is like this classic layout of a week is really fucked. And so it, it doesn't fully work with my inner cycle. Um, I've had episodes on about the calendar and how, you know, calendars means tech to tech say yada, yada, yada. And so I, I want to set it up in a, in a way that, that like supports me, but that also is like real and I can actually like follow up on, you know, so that, that there is like, I would say right now my business is on a consistent trickle, but I'd like it to be on a consistent flow. Right. Yeah. Where like, I don't need to like earn millions of dollars uh, with the coaching, uh, at least at this stage, I just wanted to like allow me to make, bigger jumps to connect more people and when i make time for people i'm like okay so how do we amplify this right like i i would definitely you know again i sort of get downloads of remedies for people pretty mm -hmm. quick and you know to move from individuals into teams but you know somebody you know if you have a few calls where like if it was an hour and you got four leaders and they're all paying a hundred an hour which isn't much for them but you make 500 an hour mm -hmm. versus maybe you're used to making i don't know how much you charge but you know, you just, it's numbers game, right? Yeah. You, you got, you have to just, just decide what your numbers are and then figure, cause you've got the ways to bring them in. You just haven't structured your container to be exactly what you want in terms of your, you know, your amount, your monthly income. And because you're so good hearted, <laughs> you Thanks know, that. kind people are, are taking advantage of a lot in terms of, you know, the amount that you're giving versus, the amount you're getting back kind of, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, and I mean, I, you know, it, it always, it has worked. I don't want to complain at all. Like I'm, I'm like living in like a top floor apartment in San Francisco with my girlfriend and she's, she's a, a bigger earner in our relationship at the moment, but I'd love to also like give back to her being like, yo, like, look now, now I make 10, 12 K a month consistently. So let's, let's buy this used car and let's go for a trip the next four days. And it's on me because I just want to, right? And so for sure, that that's kind of what shows up there. Um, I bit. think everyone's in the same bag in terms of, us, yeah. of fully grateful for the life they have, but would like to make some more income because you know that there's these days you you need it, you know. Yep, yep. And in terms of your coaching, you know, just everything you heard me or what I sense is again the pieces are there. You just need a little bit of uh, feedback in terms of your structure. Yeah, and be off to the races Thank, thanks man and, and I, I'll, I'll, I'll right away kind of apply this kind of different way of maybe scheduling tell me a little bit more about you and what's coming through though I'm really curious I'm really I love the graphics you sent 
Um, our printer striked, which is really weird, so I didn't print it, but I have them open right here. Um, well, the one thing I'm going to send to the, the team in the up game is, you know, I've got these card sets that are sort of like aspects of society. Mm. Um, and then the card sets that are aspects of an organization and then card sets that are aspects of an individual. And they all fit to, to create these new paradigm structures. Mm. But the, the idea of card sets is, again, to make it like more of a game, to, to play with divination. So people love divination. People love asking questions and having interesting ways of answering them. Mm. And so I have, let's say, card sets, maps, game boards, processes, and software. It's something called the New Paradigm Toolkit, which is basically kind of like tools for facilitators and coaches to use that essentially will build the new paradigm. It's just contained within these kind of game-like like tools. Because a lot of the stuff that we talk about is very abstract. And after a while, it can kind of you know get very incoherent because of the amount of abstract stuff in, in, in your mind and it's very different for each person. So if you have the visual in front of you, it's a lot easier to take into account multiple, you know, very complex systems from very di different perspectives and come up with new ways of seeing things. And so to change these conceptual words into actual lenses that you're seeing whatever's the problem or you're seeing the question or the answer through multiple layers. So it's, it's, uh, it's just kind of, you know, 25 years of R&D <laughs> that went a little overboard. And, you know, I, maybe 100 people know my work. So I, I'm, oh, wow. I, I've been basically in a cave, very focused to find the remedies. And now, now is 2020 is the year to come out with it. And so I'm working on a software program. You know, I'm, I'm bringing these things to the market. I'm working with, you know, mastermind groups like the one with the up game. I'm being very selective about you know, you run out of time pretty quick, right? And I'm used to spending a lot of time on specific prototype development. So now it's, okay, how do I work with other people in a manner that's going to have the most leverage, you know, to bring it into the world? Because you can, you know, you can come into a big organization and lose two years and you didn't really change much. But if you get your tools out to 200 organizations, uh, now you've got a lot of, leverage for what you've created mm -hmm. so i see like the, what i'm seeing is, is is like the earth manifesto connected to the up game connected to the group that you just talked about like there there are different stages of this development of the shared knowledge community which which i'm talking about and i, and I just feel that you know we're all within a larger idea we're all seeing yeah, parts of the seeing. elephant and exactly. each of us has a unique thing and one thing i'd, I'd be very interested in is, is really looking at what I would do is I would make a card set out of the people in your podcast. Mm. And, I, and it would be a card set that then you start to look at like the configurations of the teams. You start to look at the ways these people could interact together, just those people to help each other out. You could build a shared knowledge community specifically with the people that you put into the podcast. And that's like a whole new paradigm organization. And to me, you know, they, they'd be willing to pay for it. They'd be willing to exchange value for you because you're the, the grand conductor within this group that not only brought out individual expression for them, but now is bringing out a larger team and community expression for them. So that might be another thing you could look at doing. Yeah. That's such an interesting one. I totally see that with the people I've interviewed, even if I go through them, like it's all been me, man. Like the wound has been, Oh, I wish I had more help. Oh, I wish I could afford more help, which is obviously never going to get you anywhere because vibrationally you're just keeping it away from yourself. And so it's like with the people that I've interviewed, I'd, I'd be curious if, if it could like create a cash flow as well, but I'd even do that for free if I have the right, energetic pull that I'm like, okay, a lot of them will actually show up. And so what I mean is like, it's too many people right now, you know, we could, we could even run an experiment and say, you know, it, it's as simply as calling it a, it's like a, a four week, once a week, 90 minute, it's like four calls over 90 minutes. And the call one is getting to know, call two is like everyone shares stories and breakout groups and we organize them based on the similar topics and then week three is everyone shares their vision and then week four is sync, syncing it right 
Um, I'm in one of those groups right now with light leadership and, and something they're testing out. And so I could see that and I could even see like emailing those people, like a first email, the second email, a third, just to get like a little warm. And then like whoever from those 200, if it's 40 people or 20 people who are stuck, like bringing them in just, just so that there is that kind of like, you know, um, I, I would suggest because emails, I don't know. I mean, you know, I, <laughs> I don't know about oh, you, but I, I get too many emails. I would, I would come I get up too many of all one, of the messages. Yeah, I would come up with one good video mm. that is you giving the the pitch, and the idea is, as they call it, like bulletproof or something. Like it's so good. Of course, you're going to come in because even if you had, let's say, twelve people in a meeting, and even if they put just twenty five dollars, like that's still three hundred an hour. You know, which is to me is it's, it's getting worth it, right, to do that. So. It's a very low cost. That's, that's kind of my current coaching hour is like 300 to 350 okay. US. Yeah. I mean, okay. if you break it down to the hour, so you're right. right. So again, you know, you can make your 300 if you may, and, and they're only paying 25 and most of these people are probably, you know, leaders in themselves or maybe they're not, maybe they're on the fringe. So you got to also look well, at many of them are. Yeah. But I, I would, you know, I, I have a, a breakdown of male or female under or over 35 and, um, rich or poor because if you're rich under 35 and a female or you're over 35 and male and, and, and uh, rich I mean they're, they're very different demographics yeah, yeah clear. right so if you look at your 200 there's a lot of different ways to structure how you see them and 200 and growing right like I, I do three episodes a week so it's like oh, I'm gonna be at 300 like soon oh, like, like because because then what I would do is I would make a larger map of the 200 and then as you're asking people or people are coming to you you're fitting them in this puzzle so it's not just random you're going oh well you're one of these you're one of these so then you can start to go well we need one of these we need one of these and you're building this ecosystem of these people and again it's kind of like you're building a multicellular structure versus you know the unicell and i think when biology you know when, when a big leap was made it went from single cells to multi cells that's what we're doing right now we're going from independent humans and sort of structured organizations totally. that are good for us into, into functional super organism yeah 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 that's a download I, I get all the time it's like we're not individuals we're a super organism we're we're, we're um, scientifically i guess you know the moment we understand the mycelium better we'll be like oh, yeah. wow that's us and then the moment we we break science paradigm and look at water and intelligence and water will will be fully in in like a complete new world right because those are such intelligence factors on our planet cool the only question for me is then so what's the value that's visible for that like if i would call it green planet blue planet the weaving a call to everyone that i've interviewed and, I, and i'd like you know well it's, it's team, I don't know. like it's it's super team like i mean for me i go from like in planetary guardians it goes from one to a team of four to five teams of four make a team of 20, and then a shared knowledge community is a team of 144. So the value comes, like if you bring together a team of four mm -hmm. or 20, that, you know, there's immense value. Like, I mean, even just, you know, the up game, the two people I met, immense value, you know, the two people I met. Like, yeah, 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 just you're, in that you're right. One breakout, I've got two new friends, each of them is like a brilliant genius, and I could see being friends with life for them. You know, that is, can't even put a price on that. And so you, I think the value of, you know, connection, you know, it's like there was these three wisdom councils in Victoria and every year they sent out this uh, letter to 500 people and then they responded to like about 15 people responded to the call to ask yeah. for a wisdom council. And then they, they were a weekend together coming up with one idea and each year the idea was the same. We want more connection. You know, it's, it's a no brainer. Yeah. 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 It is a no brainer. I like it. Even if I asked like $11 from each of them, each session, it would be like, so worth my time money wise. Um, they would just pay like $44 for the four sessions. Um, which is also nothing for anyone. I'd be happy in my current situation to pay that if I know that the person connecting me, has like not just a pure heart, but also like a clear 
determination for interconnection and value. And so like true connection, really deeply being in that space. And then from there, like finding a way how to weave it into, you know, synergy and, and, and emerging uh, work, right? Like without setting it up for that with any agenda, I think that could be very valuable. Hmm. Cool. That's a complete new idea. I haven't really like looked at so far. And I mean, right now I have a, I'm, I'm moving back July 1st. So there's a lot to do in the next like four weeks for me and I'm launching another course. It's like a classic kind of course. So that would like probably be something I pick up like mid July. Um, it'd also be super curious to just like continuously like weave with you on that. If you are interested in like running prototypes in groups now. Right. Um, but I'd also love to learn more about like, what what's behind your your tools and the like shared knowledge community synergy team infrastructure one was like yeah man i mean i can just feel it i mean the, the 12 teams of 12 people you know well I, I think that you know we have to show the world a new way yeah. of organizing right that's by the way sorry just before I, before you go there this is exactly what les yelled did. have you seen their graphics of how they've organized yeah. it yeah okay you've seen that now yeah, well, yeah. Otherwise, I think I the, the difference is that I just have a lot more depth in terms of it isn't just a flat here 12 of 12 there's the inner there's the inner there's the inner and so it's it's quite it's a lot more multi-dimensional on sacred geometry um, yeah you know. I mean they they just downloaded it straight from like like instructional spirit right which you can and and then just like put it into action which I want to really acknowledge them for it but they didn't at all go deep with it and like even as all meeting, it was kind of a shit show because it like it, the, the human element clashes and but, but we, we met and we did it and we made it happen. And, and I now see, which is so interesting, like they were speaking about it kind of behind the scenes. And I, like, I was really, I'm really close with a few of them. Um, it's like they brought this template into the grounded field yeah. and now it's popping up everywhere, which is so cool, you know? Yeah, yeah for sure. I mean, and, and no matter what, I mean, nearly all human interaction is a shit show. We know that. And that's part of the humor of it, right? I mean, uh, we, yeah. we, we uh, anything new really has to go through forms of resistance from that which exists. And in most of us, our minds are pretty concrete, concretized, you know, into a certain way of seeing the world. So it'd be very cool to do with kids or youth, you know. I mean, that's, that's the ultimate seed of soul seed of purpose that I'm definitely here to bring is like to, um, to help and support build spaces in schools for children to, to never need to embody the old paradigm in any way, shape or form. And I know those spaces partially exist and I've been part of some of those projects, but there's a lot of work to do. So, so yeah, that's going to probably be the next 30 years, you know, but mm -hmm yeah interesting what else do you feel called to share right now and we can definitely like have another one of these and or, or just like set our rhythm and like like continue to weave from there i'm well, really like I genuinely guess it, interested it, it depends you know it depends on your point of view in terms of how far you want to jump in the rabbit hole you know and how you know how much you want to collaborate and how much you know you're doing your thing or you want to participate when i'm you know it's 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 you know, we only have so much time and we only have so many people we can connect to and yeah. we all have to choose our projects very carefully right so to me i just i follow up with anyone who who shows interest and then i investigate and then it's kind of as things are proceeding i'm i'm just kind of i don't know if i'm running out of time but i'm as more people see what i have i i see at some point to me there's gonna be hundred thousand people at the door going uh you know train me in this so Mm -hmm. right now i'm i'm still in an obscurity which is i i like yeah yeah there's do you you open for a, an honest reflection sure because i meet a lot of people and I like cross cultures right like everywhere um i think i can help you connect with some other people that are doing similar ish things i'm really glad you're connected with lisiel i think the calendar initiative would be someone really interesting for you to see if there are joint forces, if it is time for joint forces on that front, so that this whole model can fly much larger beyond one person's ability to make something fly, right? Uh, that's one thing, it's just like the interconnectivity for within sure. the for people sure. that are already, do you know about the calendar initiative? No. I'll send you some links afterwards. Okay. 
um, they've done something similar to what you have behind you based on the ancient calendars, like Mayan calendars, etc. But what you have behind you seems, um, that seems energetically, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely a psychogeometry nerd, like, um, right, like, I uh, got it on my body and everything. I I can feel that there is something with it that 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 would be really powerful for many people to understand individually. Um, so yeah, that would be interesting. Um, second thing I wanted to say is I'm in absolute agreement with you. We have to sh discern really carefully where there's full alignment to really like do more than just talk. Um, on that note, what I'm interested in is sense making of my community of people i've interviewed in a way that it's not really about money it would be great if there's a little bit of money kickback and so i think that the micro funding makes sense but but that there is like maybe a first one that's online but maybe then there's another one in person in like a year or so where like these 200 300 400 people i'm interviewing and mapping they're like you know this green planet blue planet uh, four week zoom session or this event or whatever that really kickstarted the next gear of what we like that would feel like the best karma I could I could cr cr create and so I know I can't do this alone I don't want to do it alone I want to do it with other people I'm very curious about any um, shared knowledge community tools so that's just okay. my honest um, perspective and then third piece like yeah man I've, I've met a few people that are like Forgive me if, if I'm projecting something negative. I'm, I'm, I'm really meaning in the nicest way, but I'm German, so I'm gonna like try to, try to land it somewhere hard, hardcore. It's like, I've met a lot of people that like have a genius project that they kind of had, had built in like hiding out in their own little um, basement. I, I don't think you, you did it in a basement. Um, you got to come out. You got to come out in a way that that confronts all of the shyness around it, and that is completely detached from any outcome. Which most people that I've met that come out usually have an attachment to how they want it to be perceived, and then it all crumbles because it's not being perceived like that. And they're like, "No, but this genius work is this way," and "Oh, you're not getting it." And then it's like, "Well, you're not meeting it in where reality is ready to see you." I'm not saying that's you. I'm just saying that's what I witnessed a few times before with other people that I can feel like there's like a deep genius in you, you know? So, so I just wanted to raise that flag and be like, you know, just like maybe my flag would be people like me overconnect and then overcommit and then nothing happens either. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I've, I've learned this about myself um, over and over and over again, and I'm still not freed from it because my heart is like that. I would love to say hi to everyone and hug everyone and be like, we're on planet earth together. Amazing. <laughs> right. And so that doesn't really help though, because I can only help and support when I like have really strong nose and really open yeses. And so. Um, well, if I can just answer like within the shared knowledge yeah. community, there are 12 originators and I see myself mm -hmm. as an originator and I know like you, I've met other people like me and to be an originator means you, you, you think different, you are different, and you're not trying to fit in kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And the whole idea of the shared knowledge community is to, to create that marketing and infrastructure, which essentially, if you're really creating something, the business side of things and the marketing side of things is not really your forte and it's not something you want to focus on, but it's something that you need, right? You need someone who can translate. You need somebody who can put in a package. You need people who can talk to the world about it in a way that you can't. Because you, you're right, you're too attached, I'm too attached. I think I'm starting at a simple place and I'm starting somewhere where nobody even understands me. So, the yeah. again, like part of the structure I've been building is because of what I've gone through. And I know that artists and originators, they need more flexibility in terms of the infrastructure support. You know, like an artist sometimes needs, give them three, you know, give them three months, give them a sound studio, pay for their rent, don't talk to them and they'll come out with an album, right? Totally. But don't tell them how to do it and don't don't tell them anything other than just take care of their needs and they'll come back with this beautiful thing. But if you watched them in the process, running through naked in the woods and <laughs> what they do, you know, you, you might go, that's not the way to do it and you yeah. kind of kill, kill the vibe for them. So, you know, I, I just think there, there's such a, in the, the old paradigm is the business takes advantage of the artist. 
and, and because the artist cannot take care of the contracts, can't take care of the marketing, can't take care of all these things they need to. But it, the idea of the shared knowledge community, it's a very supportive infrastructure that isn't ripping people off, that is fair in business, that is there for all the people in it, as opposed to the old paradigm corporation. So, yeah, and th this is where, like, just dialogue here, this is where I've had a lot of like uh, trouble is that I, I felt in my deepest soul, I don't want to do it the usual way. I don't want to do it this old school way. And so like looking at this, I mean, in these 200 people I've interviewed so far and there's like more every uh, week and a lot of elders too, not so many youth yet, even though I'm trying sometimes um, to like specifically connect with youth. Like I probably have those 144 people that you could already fit into this. Like I probably already am connected to, the, well, I'm definitely already connected to them, but I probably can already weave with them because I have a relationship with them that's based on an interview that's based on me highlighting their work. And so I just um, recently connected with a really dear friend now um, and also a client uh, in Costa Rica. Uh, he's, a, he's gone really through a lot of the old paradigm institutions from World Economic Forum and like young global leaders and so forth. And not all of that is, is bad, just, just so like to highlight that, like a lot of that is mm. a lot of good people wanting to understand where they can leverage. And we were talking about creating a Green Planet, Blue Planet Summit in Costa Rica um, in a different kind of way and, and bringing kind of, so like, I'm super open to explore this because again, like, I'm more curious to do it the, the right way, the emerging way, the Le Ciel and beyond way, than the way that's just like a smart business step. I'd like it to be also a, a, a solid business step, so we're not falling on our face and wasting our time. But I'd love it to be based on true connection, true purpose, and true value, right? Connection, mm -hmm. purpose, and value, which, I mean, those are just momentary notions that I think they're, they're deeply rooted. And so I could see, like, I could see from my perspective right now, right? Let's just say I, I continue the podcast, I continue the coaching. That's my focus. But then one of the projects that kind of births out of both of them is a Green Planet, Blue Planet Summit, which I think you know, Green Planet, Blue Planet in its, in its notion, this is a, a, a lapis lazuli I've been charting for two years with, with a lot of information, um, you know, that, that's supposed to go back into the earth soon or into the ocean, actually. There is a planetary work I'm really doing. Like, I'm in your grid there, I'm a planetary guardian, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm also a teacher and a healer and an artist in some ways, but I'm really a guardian, mm -hmm. I'm a steward. And so, um, and I'm a collector of others that are fitting into this grid. and. Um, one of my desires, and so this is all coming out in our interbeing right now, is to, to create something that has a structure that I'm not capable to fully see, but you're able to fully see. You're fully able to see it deeply. And probably we'd need another, well, we'd need another 10 facilitators as it looks there. But, but you know, like that would be fucking delicious to experience. And it could take a first smaller version on a Zoom and it can take a larger version in person in a year or whatever. But as long as this is not something I need to like solely lift up the rock, yeah, I'm very open. Uh, I'm very open. Again, if it has um, value, purpose, and uh, what did I say was the third one? Connection. Connection. Conne exactly. Because that's, that's the other thing that's often not happening is true connection. Yeah. Where we're actually like, I didn't plan to have an extra 15 minutes from our appointment, but actually I, I, I technically have it. And so because we're truly connecting, I'm, I'm the connection is worth more than the time, right? So, sure. and we all know how that feels. Well, well, I would, I would say like, I guess what's happening for me is I'm seeing much different ways to, let's say, create the shared knowledge community of going to something that's already created, going to something where they're, they're coming together on teams, going to something where there's nothing there and they're moving into something or going to something like you where you've got all the pieces. And so, from my point of view, I'm very interested just to pursue anything, kind of like what you're, saying, what you're saying, that has those three things, and see what happens, right? I mean, right now, I do have, you know, the flexibility to choose, and to, and to you know, and again, follow, follow the vision, follow the energy, follow, you know, follow the people who are saying, hey, man, you know, let's connect, and you know, I'm sure with you, you probably have, you know, you might be getting a hundred calls a week going, Hey, I want to be on your show. And you're going, okay, well, I don't know how to deal with that now. Right. Yeah. It's, it's at that point where I get too many connection calls. 
too many requests. And all I care about is like the community to truly form, which is a little bit of the old paradigm too. Just like turn into passionate listeners. And then from there, like follow me and what I'm doing and show up for it because that's what's going to like, I'm a leader that is un unnegotiable. Like it's, it's not something I'm trying to be. It's just what I am. Right. And so, yeah. so yeah. Um, so I, I mean, if, and again, yeah. to me, if, you, if you're on this in your own and I understand, you know, at some point, you know, the overwhelm in terms of having to do all the pieces when, if you just had, let's say an assistant or you just had you know, a few people that could take care of the logistics that, that yeah. anyone could take care of who are like, behind the vision, maybe they don't got to be paid right away, but they know that as things progress, they are going to get something. Like in the old days, apprentices mm -hmm. would, you know, you'd have to work for someone for nine years or something right. and you wouldn't get paid, but right. they wouldn't have to pay you. Like there, there's an exchange of value that happens when people don't have all this money, but both are getting huge value. Like, like whatever you've learned to get to where you are, you know, if you could teach that to someone who's young, Oh, you know, it's, it's immensely valued. They'd have to go to school yeah. for four years to get that pay $30,000, but they come and they help you, they learn it. And then they learn the actual process of what's, what's occurring. And now both, both are getting something. So I, I think also that I'm good at creating teams, helping people to find their place on a team. And, and you need someone other than you to tell people what exactly what you're doing. A hundred percent. So like, let's just keep this, keep this rolling and then deeply meditate and sit on the, sit on this. And it's also cool that I'm coming up to, to uh, the Pacific Northwest in just three weeks, like permanently, yeah. right? Like I signed a one year lease. Like my, I want to do most of it from Vancouver Island and grow my own food and then just fly to destinations where there's either real business happening or, or like something really important, like, like meeting family. For sure. Um, I have another thing that just popped up. So one of my really good friends at this point, he, my, my partner, she's, she's from Brazil as well. And he's also Brazilian. So I'm, I'm like, have this whole Brazil connection in my life right now. And his name is Rodrigo. Rodrigo is another one like me from Sao Paulo. And he was actually in the Lyciel group, Seeding Global Community. I, that's where I met him. And so him and I, he, he runs something called Rehumans, like Regenerative Humans. R -E um, I'll send you, I'll, I'll drop you the website right here. Um, I'm actually doing an interview series within Green Planet, Blue Planet with some of his rehumans because him and I were always like, let's, let's, how do we connect more than connecting, right? Um, and so he's turned into a real good friend already. Um, and we just recently talked how to make more sense out of their rehumans community, you know? And so, yeah, I don't know exactly how, what your path brings next, Elijah, but like it could be that some of these LaCiel people or kids, like, I mean, I'm 33 now, but like, like me and Rodrigo, you're like helping us suddenly sense me, which then makes sense of what you're using. And who knows, man? I just know that I'm really open to it from the perspective that I'm committed to this path. Like I've gone through the growing pains in the last two years already. Like I will not shy down from making this, this podcast journey into whatever it's meant to be until it's done, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I know that the podcast is just the outer physical shell that it had to take so I can like, you know, do the thing that needs to be done first. Um, I feel like let's, let's, let's maybe, I'm happy to hear anything else from you, but let's maybe like put a, a point or like a, draw a line at the sand there and let that yeah. reflect. And maybe we set up a certain rhythm in which we want to check in about this. Sure, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm basically making sort of weekly sessions with different people doing different shows. Like this to me is the beginning of a show. Like I have this thing, the very secret plan, and if we meet and we connect and all of a sudden we're, we're connecting, now you're in the very secret plan. And there's a whole bunch of, like you, I have a whole bunch of other people I'm connecting with. And it's, it's again, like we're, 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 we're just doing this massive networking, right? Of, of uh, global way showers that are going, uh, let's build the new paradigm, right? Uh, <laughs> enough of the funny stuff. Um, there, there's a lot of ways humans can help each other out. And when we're cooperating, you know, we're way happier than when we're competing. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so much happier. Yeah. Yeah. So unless okay, we want to so run a hundred yeah. meters, then, then maybe we'll, we'll do a little competition, but, but you know, that's, that's just, that's for games and fun and then like move on back to collaboration again. For sure. For sure. Cool, man. Um, yeah, just, just let me know when, when that rhythm is for you and I'll see if it's like, for me, like 10 days or, or 14 days is, is also really healthy. Um, but, okay. I'm, but I'm also 
Well, maybe, maybe we should do the next one in like 10 to 14 days. And okay, every two weeks could be good. Um, but let me let me think about let me think about some stuff. Maybe I'll send you some maps. And uh, do I have your email? I think so. I'll, I'll just drop it in the chat here too. So the reason why I'm saying 14 days is just because I know my next two weeks are already pretty full with me moving. Yeah. Um, and then I know that mid July is when I'm like really ready to take on something next. Yeah. So and like, I might be coming to the Island around then too. So perfect. Um, I made, I made notes on all this in terms of like the green planet, blue planet kind of uh, like weaving of the, uh, the people I've already interviewed. Like I'm down to, to host this. I mean, I'm, uh, yeah, that feels really good. Okay. Cool, man. All right. Great to meet you. Thank you I so pop much. This up too, and uh, let's see what happens. But Until I, it feels good to me. Yeah, same here. Great to talk with you, Julie. Bye.